All right, y'all, so I bought this house for $155,000. This house needs about $25,000 of overall work. Now, as you look around, you can see where the obvious work is. You got some, you got the house stripped down to the studs here. We're gonna throw some drywall up, do some new flooring in here, do some new paint. Let's go to the kitchen. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do in there too, okay? All right, y'all, so we're in the kitchen. In the kitchen, you can see we need new countertops. We need some new appliances. We're gonna paint these cabinets, right? Do a new backsplash in here, and of course, update the floors. Now, again, I bought this property at 155,000. Overall repair is gonna be 25,000. The property is worth $280,000 on the open so market. So in theory, I have $100,000 that I can make on this property if I were to flip it. But again, that's just a theory. A lot of these gurus don't tell you that you actually have a whole lot of holding costs that comes associated with flipping a house. You have realtor fees, so when I list this property, I'm gonna have to pay my realtor and another realtor for bringing their client. That's 6% on average. That's $17,000 off of that $280,000 uh, sales price that I was talking about the home actually being worth. Not to mention, if it's slow on the market and I'm incurring holding costs, holding costs is um, utilities, right? Anything that could go wrong on the property, my mortgage payment, taxes, all these things can actually happen. So if the property is sitting for a while, I'm accruing all of these costs, that's coming off my bottom line, right? And if that happens for too long, I'm going to have to drop the price from that 280 to 269, right? Just to make it